Hello, I will show you how to create medical large language model that's trained on medical data and uh, talks and understands uh, medical stuff. So this is example, it's very coherent and speaks very clearly. The next stage is the clinical latency stage. The virus becomes less active, though it's still in the body. During this stage, people experience no symptoms while the viral inf infection, etc. So uh, it knows what it's talking about and it's uh, talking fluently. So I'm pre-training large language model from scratch. Usually a lot of the companies, you would want to fine tune already pre-trained large language model. But for those who want to pre-train, uh, I want to show you how to create, how to create it here. You can check that it speaks very clearly, clearly and coherently here as well. And other prompts as well. All of the prompts, it speaks uh, fully coherently. You can also train any other kind of language model. I'm just using medical data. So uh, most important thing is your data. So it will uh, learn from your data to speak the way your data is. Also, it will not learn to have like this deep human intuition. Uh, it's only going to be good as an assistant to answer questions and have knowledge and to chat with people with the knowledge from your data. So still, we will not be able to make uh, AI doctor better than human doctor, human physician, but it will be able to answer and chat, chat with uh, people, or maybe students, maybe uh, clients, with whatever you teach it to know. If you just go ahead and uh, read this readme file, you'll see all of the model specifications here. So I'm using uh, eight GPUs to train this. I trained it a little bit quickly. So we're going to start by running this. So it's going to run distributed training. And we can also uh, check checkpoints and continue and have like custom training settings. So I rented actually two GPUs, 1490, uh, to train this model. And it took me maybe two hours to train this, but it is under trained. So if you would probably need to train this for more and more time. Again, most of the time you would just fine tune existing model, but for those people or companies who want to train pre-train from scratch to have more control uh, or continue pre-training or have a full language model, then you can also try this. This model is going to be a lot smaller than the pre-trained models you use to fine tune. So this could even run faster and you have full, full control on this model. So I'm using this data set from Hugging Face. You will probably use this data set and uh, more data sets and I'm using this tokenizer. You can change this. I recommend you use coding IDE, uh, AI IDE, like cursor that you can talk to. You can use like Gemini CLI that's free and stuff. But you can find all of this in the GitHub repository. And I also have this self-study prompt. So for people on my YouTube who want to understand how all of this works, you just copy uh, the code, for example, distributed train into AI. You copy this prompt and it will generate an article explaining you things step by step. The main purpose of this project is for uh, self-study on my YouTube channel, but maybe somebody will also use it to build on top of this some kind of product or service that's actually going to be used because uh, I optimized this LLM into oblivion. So this is using muon optimizer, uh, rope, all of the latest things, all the latest things, cutting edge, best, fastest training that I know of. In the future, I would write maybe some more Triton kernels or CUDA kernels. But other than that, I think uh, this is as good as it gets right now. That's it for now. You can check other videos on my channel about building other AI models, language models, image models, uh, AI science and research that we do. And uh, see you next time.